I'm Dan O'Day. Why is it that a higher percentage of businesses of questionable integrity do so much better radio advertising than their more reputable counterparts? Now, let me hasten to add, of course, that I have no reason to believe that Cash Call, whose commercial I will play for you, is a shady business or that its reputation is less than stellar. My research did uncover a bunch of consumer complaints about the company, but I haven't confirmed any of those complaints. I have absolutely no hard evidence to suggest that Cash Call is anything than a fine, honest company that only enriches our society. On the other hand, I do get a certain feeling about those guys, but it's just a feeling. It is not an allegation of fact or knowledge. Anyway, here's their radio commercial. Here's another mortgage tip from Cash Call. Some lenders like to advertise lower than market rates because their salespeople know how to upsell you once you're on the phone. How do you spot this trick? First, by law, lenders must quote a rate and APR. And the bigger the gap between the rate and the APR, the more closing costs you pay. Even a quarter percent difference can mean thousands in costs. Second, some lenders will quote a super low rate, but not mention the term, hoping you'll think it's a 30-year rate, not the 10-year rate it actually is. At Cash Call, Today's 30-year rate and APR is 3.875%. Simple, no closing costs and no nonsense because our salespeople aren't that slick. So apply with Cash Call now at 866-590-CASH. And if you find a lower rate somewhere else, cancel with us at no cost or obligation. That's 866-590-CASH. First, let's review the good parts. Some lenders like to advertise lower than market rates because their salespeople know how to upsell you once you're on the phone. You know, that's a solid line with which to begin a radio ad. I don't know about you, but it made me want to hear more. Have you ever heard a lender refer to the people who answer their phones as salespeople, not consultants or advisors? Salespeople. I'm pretty sure that's a first, and I liked it. And toward the end of the commercial, they refer to the people who answer cash call phones as salespeople, once again. It's not that slick, as is the competition's. Selling is educating. This spot educates when it says, by law, lenders must quote a rate and APR. Now let's review some of the weaker parts of that radio commercial. They gave us two pieces of interesting information. Some lenders advertise low rates to lead to an upsell and some lenders quote a low rate but deliberately don't mention the term, that is, the length of the loan. Both of those are relevant and interesting, but with only 60 seconds, there wasn't time for either bit of information to sink in with the listener. The omitting the term tidbit especially needs more time for listeners to process. It pushed the initial interesting fact, the upsell tactic, out of the listener's mind to make room for the new interesting fact. Just as I preach to radio personalities one thought per break, this cash call radio campaign should offer a single informational tidbit per spot. And this next line gives me pause. If you find a lower rate somewhere else, cancel with us. That line is meant to reassure potential borrowers, but instead it plants the suggestion you might be able to get lower rates somewhere else. The solution is either to drop that line entirely or to build an entire new commercial around that guarantee. Still, in a world of C- to D- commercials, I give that one a B+. I'm Dan O'Day. Dan O'Day.com Digital Alignment Synchronize